In today's video I have super fun idea for you. Let's do some exercise. Let's grab some watercolor based markers. Let's do a little bit of color. We're gonna do like flowers, but they're not gonna be real flowers. They're gonna be imaginary flowers. Yes, you heard me. So we are doing some blobs of water. That's it. Then we're gonna grab our brush marker and just press the pigment, press it, press it and have the color flowing. Um, don't worry about your markers. I've done this plenty of times and honestly nothing has happened to my markers. Um, they are water based so they seems to be perfectly fine with techniques like that and touching it to the water. So let's do that. There we go. My next step, interestingly enough, will be to have a little bit of go here with pigment, with each coming, you see? I'm not cleaning in between. How interesting is that? Because then we're getting a little bit of a different mixture of colors. I'm now cleaning in between just to grab some pigment cleaning here grabbing the red towards the purple and purple towards the red here and maybe I think I'm missing a little bit of that blue maybe going there love this now my favorite of all it's the Pilot G-Tech C4 and now the fun part we going doodling and it's okay it's fine, it's gonna dissolve here in the water and it's gonna be fantastic. Ooh, love that, now. <laughs> How fun is that, you have to admit. And another one. There we go, each is different individual and pretty, I guess, right? <laughs> I love this. Now, my idea as well is to possibly Mm, possibly have a little bit of um what's the word like uh, um uh, uh, leaf leaf that's what i meant some leaves on sides there we go and i'm gonna maybe grab a touch of that green here there we go how pretty how fast how pretty how awesome this is and now with that we're gonna grab and just drag it here so we're gonna have like let's say let's say like a grass sort of thing there we go maybe a bit more water in there there we go love this so much and now maybe extra touches of green just a tiny touches possibly another color green like maybe different shade or something and that's it that's it really I'm gonna just have another go with that green here uh, with the water and that's really it I don't want to mess it too much I love how the pigment stayed on the bottom and how this all dissolved I love do you know what I probably would be tempted to go around again with my uh, pen but I'm gonna skip it um, what I will do is I'm gonna just gently touch that here and here like gently so that I have a touch of like this arty feel to our flowers that's it like a tiny touch like a, we're talking look like tiny touch like really tiny touch maybe on the other side as well but like gentle gentle touch not much happening oh, I love this so much wow wow I think that either I'm gonna dry it and then doodle or I'm gonna I don't know <laughs> I'm tempted to doodle once more at least I'm gonna do it like that so that our um, stem is sort of more visible and I'm gonna just possibly like have a little bit of play with this here part there we go maybe 
I'm gonna just, there we go, have a little bit of touch with my brush gently and if it went away then let's repeat that and maybe touches here and you know what I think I'm gonna leave it to dry uh, one second I think this one went a little too far there we go Mm, our project is dry. The question is, are we gonna do a little bit more? Like a tiny touch, just so that it's gonna be slightly darker, because obviously it faded when it was wet and all. I love that. It's like this, um, it's like wire or something is happening. I totally love it. Let's finish the drying part. Now I'm gonna show you, before we're gonna reveal this, uh, I'm gonna show you the previous project. This one was on my Instagram uh, that everyone loved, but this one is actually the very first that have been done. So that was like off camera trying it out and I loved it so much. So I made the follow up of these flowers with the stems and little leaves. And then we have these like trees. I think they're looking slightly more like trees. I absolutely adore it to the point to that I think I feel that I would do uh, one more I would love to make one more so maybe we can we can attempt one more with different colors in the different in the next video or something look at it I love it they like wiry trees I'm gonna call them wire trees I think they are fantastic I so much love it I I'm honestly in such a love with it and I would love you to see that you can have something artistic something pretty very fast um, and no skills really like truthfully there's no skills involved so I would love you to try it for yourself please promise me to try uh, if you're wondering about the markers those are Karen markers this one is pilot uh, G tech 4 GTEC C4, my favorite uh, supplies that I'm using. Uh, all the links are in the description, so check it out. Thank you so much, my beautiful friends. I really hope you liked it and enjoyed it. Uh, a pleasure to be in your homes. I love this project so much, and I hope, I truly hope, and really wish you will uh, make your own. <laughs> Please do have fun painting, and, and I chat to you very, very soon. Bye. Bye bye.